Okay, this time let's look at the recessionary gap. Basically, just the opposite story of what I just told you. Recessionary gap. Economy is not doing well. Right? You are producing less than potential output. Which means unemployment is higher than the natural rate. Okay? So less people are being hired than normal. Okay? You are in a recession. So let's graph that. Real GDP, price level, aggregate demand, aggregate supply. So we are normally here, natural rate of unemployment, we are currently here, Y1, where unemployment is higher than normal, right? So this year, the distance between these two is your recessionary gap, right? Your recessionary gap, and the price level, P1. Okay, so... Now, as I mentioned also in the previous example, this short-run equilibrium is unsustainable. We must always end up in our long-run equilibrium. So let's graph that. How do we go from the situation of a recession back to our full, equi full employment level of output? Oops. Okay, so again, uh, we uh, let me change the color of the pen. We are producing less than normal. Unemployment is greater than the natural rate. So people want to keep their jobs. And unemployed people want to get a job. They rather have a job than not have a job. right? Assume there are no unemployment benefits or very, very low levels of unemployment benefits. Okay. So what happens is there will be a lowering of wage demands because you rather keep your job then lose your job. Your boss, your boss is a bastard. Your boss says, if you don't work for less, I will sack you and hire someone else. So you accept lower wages. This means that the cost of production falls. Fall in the cost of production, which means you can now supply more as a seller at the same price level. This will see a shift to the right. Of your short run aggregate supply curve. Okay, so what will happen? I'll just change the color of the pen. Is there will be an increase in the a shift outwards or rightwards of the short run aggregate supply curve. We move back to full employment level of output and don't forget to state your new price level gone down okay so again you need to then show us and state that we are moving back to our long-run equilibrium but don't forget to also say that the price level has come down 